ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ವೈಶ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವಿಷ್ಣುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂ ಘೈತಿ ಜತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನೋರಂಚ ಇವ ನೃತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂಗ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರನ್ನ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನ ಅಭೀಷ್ಟ ದೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚಿನ ಸರಣ್ಯ ವೇತ್ತಾತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪ್ರಣೋದ ಪಾಲ ಭವಾದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣ ರವೀಂದ ಜತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋದೂಷ ದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕಥಾ ಕೃಪಾ ಕರುಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೌ ಜನ್ ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಪಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯು ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ್ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सुति स्थिति पुराणादि पंचरात्रि विधि बिना वही कांत की हरे भक्ति उत्पत्त वो कल्पते सौमृग श्रेयसा हेतु पंथ सतापवर्जित अनुवाप्त समम पूर्व जैन सतो प्रतस्थि श्रुति स्थिति पुराणादि पंचरात्रो विधि बिना वही कांति की हरे भक्ति उत्पत्त कल्पते सौमिग्रेयसा हेतु पंथ सतापवर्जित अनुवाप्त समम पूर्व जैन सतो प्रतस्थि श्रुति स्थिति पुराणादि पंचरात्रो विधि बिना वही कांत की हरे भक्ति उत्पत्त कल्पते गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान हु विल भगवान विल अट्रैक्ट हुम हु विल भगवान अट्रैक्ट हिमसेल्फ टू वर्ड हिमसेल्फ हु इज दैट पर्सन दैट भगवान विल अट्रैक्ट हिम भगवान भगवान विल अट्रैक्ट हुम टू वर्ड हिमसेल्फ प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट श्री नंद नंदन कृष्ण ही स्वयं भगवान ही दैट श्री कृष्ण इन दिस हो इज एक्चुअली अट्रैक्टिंग ऑल द थ्री वर्ड्स श्री कृष्ण पृष्ठ श्री गुरुपाद पद्म दे आर That is the actual haladini uh, attractive power of Krishna, Guru Pad Padma, Shri Krishna Prastha. That uh, Guru Dev is there. That is the actual uh, attractive power of Krishna. It means that by the kripa of Bhagwan, by the kripa of Bhagwan, it is uh, on the bonded jivas. It cannot come directly on the bonded jivas. it cannot come at all come in bond bonded jeev by via medium of the devotees by the uh, devotees help only it will come in front of us that tat prakash tat shakti it will come on us best of kripa on us so if for krishna we are actually actually feeling attraction for krishna then gurudev is actually there only guru vishnu by them only we can feel that only shri gurudev only is actually the actual attractive power of krishna and uh, the actual uh, actual thing that is the actual attractive thing attractive thing that was the vastu that is the actual attraction for us that there is nitya vastu vastu that is krishna and avastu vastu that is anitya vastu that kind of attraction we are feeling towards this maya that is the actual attraction towards maya that is the actual effect of maya what we are feeling towards anitya vastu that vastav vastu krishna is actually attractive and so then bhagwan who will attract bhagwan will attract whom prabhupad actually speaking that like like a magnet like a magnet is actually just attracting a steel it actually uh, attracting steel the magnet is attracting steel like magnet definitely gonna attract the steel but if propa speaking that magnet is actually attracting steel or some plastic or maybe some cotton or maybe some wood wooden piece it is not at all uh, getting attracted this is actual rules but on on the steel if there is some rusting 
is done, some of a layer of ferric oxide is done on the steel. Then in this situation, magnet will won't find any attraction towards the steel. It means that this piece of steel will definitely not gonna attract towards magnet. It will not get attracted towards magnet. Why? Because there is a layer of ferric oxide on it. It means that this rusting is there on the uh, ferric oxide. That's why it is not possible because magnet uh, won't uh, the attraction that he will not feeling attraction towards that uh, uh, magnet, the steel. But the magnet definitely that is natural for magnet to attract the steel. But in this way, you can understand that we are actually we are not at all feeling attraction for Krishna. Why? Because we have one rusting of maya over that there is one covering of maya over it very topmost covering of maya is there heavy covering on maya that topmost covering of maya is there that's why we cannot go to bhagwan up till this point that's why bhagwan actually just taking the responsibility that this is our uh, that uh, covering of maya is there in order to just remove that that is my work but i am actually i am not at all able to cut that uh, maya devi i am not at all able to remove that so what to do in that case see in this way similar manner sepe bhagwan and sevanmukh sevanmukh sevak he is attracting that it means that those who are sevanmukh that for seva they are actually sevanmukh they are actually unmukh they are actually just feeling attraction for that and otherwise they are not feeling attraction for anything else that for sepya vastu bhagwan that kind of sneha for sneha vastu sneha vastu bhagwan what kind of sneha bhagwan is having that we don't know about that at all that's why this material world that kind of filthy and dirty blood and flesh this kind of uh, prem of male and female and wife and children we are actually busy in that i am actually living in that i don't have any kind of desire i don't want to leave them at all that kind of attraction is there for them that sevya vastu bhagwan for that that so much attract prem is there for bhagwan is having for jeevas if one can understand then he'll become mad the sneha vastu kripas prem and the actual madhurja the seven mukh that the actual sevak those who are sevak of bhagwan they can only understand the actual sneh of and by the kripa of bhagwan they can understand the actual kripa of gorang and nityanand and they can understand the actual glorification of prema what bhagwan is having they will be feeling the attraction of bhagwan and they will be going ahead in their bhajan like the case one i'll example i'll give you will feel very anand by hearing that shila ragunath das goswami all the time actually wants to uh, wants to make preparation to go out of the house but still he was unable to go unsuccessful and he just went to nitanand prabhu and he just started crying in front of him and speaking that prabhu that uh, i want to you just need to make some preparation for me so that i can get out of the house and mahaprabhu ji has done mahaprabhu should do kripa i should have uh, get the lotus feet of mahaprabhu you just arrange this kind of condition for me nitanand prabhu ji actually done kripa on him nitanand prabhu before that gorang mahaprabhu actually speak he is not uh, speaking to ragunath das goswami at that time before about the, that the kripa of nitanand prabhu what he got after that that after getting the kripa of nitanand prabhu he just that he just taken shelter at gorang charan but that this kind of so much unstability the when mahaprabhu uh, that is the actual real point what that mahaprabhu actually just want to give us the actual instructions through in by keeping ragunath das goswami in front that he is speaking one instruction to all bonded jeevas in order to just instruct us that and then what he has said 
মর্কট বৈরাগ্য না করা লোক দেখাইয়া যথাযোগ্য বিষয়ভঞ্জ অনাসক্ত হইয়া এবার रघुनाथ <laughs> and after that when he got the grip of nitanand prabhu then he just got the opportunity one golden opportunity to uh, run from the house nobody is there that even all security guards were sleeping and they were actually all sleeping very nicely and nobody actually is there to see and raghunath was come out with one cloth in which cloth he is he is just running like a madman and just going away from the house running away from the house when the boy just has went from the house and the father is feeling very bad and very sad and the mother actually speaking to his uh, husband that that you just need to stop the boy and you just have to just uh, uh, put him in chains you just need to put him in chains Um, father actually speaking to mother you actually see in the house there is just like a heavenly lady very nice beautiful lady is there in the house and the lady is just like a demigod just so beautiful lady is there in the house and our opulence is which is like just like indra that it is just equivalent to england and the lady is so much as beautiful as demigods this this all kind of um, uh, topmost material bondage of power money position very nice beautiful lady he actually don't want to bind him with chains then why will be just uh, putting him in the material chains of uh, steel it is not at all possible to bind him what who has already taken shelter onto lotus feet of chaitanya mahaprabhu who has just given everything onto the lotus feet of gauranga mahaprabhu that by body speech and mind how i can just uh, help him uh, forcefully he already has just gone out of this material world that will be nirved are it's bondage this bondage is nothing this steel uh, steel chain is not a bondage it is more and more bonded thing that kind of uh, maya bondage is more more uh, uh, topmost which by which by the eyes you cannot see and you cannot understand by eyes and uh, automatically you feel attraction for this so this is not at all possible to bind him now so this vastu vastu that kind of top most attractive object that by achinta shakti akrishto jo akarshan that attraction what you will be feeling that seven mukh that they are actually attracting all those seven mukh jeevas it is already attracting them and taking them away but when krishna slowly steadily is actually attracting him towards him you just come to me you just come to me by at that time of attracting at that time in between that way pathway jodi koi if some unwanted element is coming that is getting attracted to some unwanted element then that the actual original attraction object he will just not be getting attracted to him that but there are lot of examples regarding this lot of examples are there in bhajan that he is actually experiencing lot of uh, uh, anand in his bhajan and he know lot of shastra vichar and he speaks very nice harikatha and kirtan and in between what happened that he just went in one kind of relationship with one girl his his car was going in a right direction his car was going in the right direction but in between fall down is there so lot of examples are there like that i'll give you one example one himachal of gadwal place so nice boy he is that i haven't seen a boy like that practically i have seen from punjab gharwal himachal pradesh 
he's a very nice boy i've heard practically seen that who's a disciple is i don't want to speak he's so nice boy and when i used to go there he always used to come to me and just need to uh, have a lot of preeti with me and lot of hari katha he used to hear of mine and now actually he has just told the whole uh, life history of his uh, he is very much educated boy he actually has just went to chandigarh to study and he just stayed in the math that's it and after that what happened that he told that maharaj that my mother and father has so much done lot of uh, misery miser miser miserable life they are uh, uh, doing uh, they are so much uh, actually old age and they are just taking uh, going down the hill and taking the water and again take, getting up and he has just uh, made his mother and father with so much uh, uh, difficulties that he just has left them and after two, after 2 two, 4 years when i have just seen him that i was just surprising to see him that everything is destroyed that humble mood everything he just become a demon what to speak so lot of uh, difficulties problems are there in the pathway of actual bhajan so much actually uh, uh, so much difficulties and barriers in the way of actual bhajan that प्रबोधना सरस्वती पास राइटिंग दिस इन द वे ऑफ भक्ति करोड एंड मिलियन एंड मिलियन ऑफ थॉन्स आर देयर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बैरियर ऑल ओवर द प्लेस वॉट टू डू इन दैट सो इट्स वेरी मच नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल सो मच टॉप मोस्ट सिद्धांत इट इज that after just we don't have this much prabhupad has written so much siddhant we have just got the grip of prabhupad so much but after that become fall down he just came in uh, uh, front of one girl and everything in relationship with one girl he just uh, left everything out so that can also be done so that's why prabhupad always used to speak that we all we all we all all people all bonded jeevas the we can just fall down any time the actual right of fall down we have already reserved that it means that any time we can fall down from our bhajan life prabhupad used to speak that everyone can reserve the right of fall down through actual bhajan maybe any time it it can be done that's why there is actually no kind of false ego should be there at all with full humble mood inside your heart full humble mood just started crying oh prabhu just save me each and every time ragano ka bhakti that is the actual uh, mool of that virha yantrana that should be there virha mood that's why i have just told you yesterday that shila bhakti no thakur ji has told that nila chal dham that is the topmost vipralam khetra that is the topmost rasa peet of vipralam khetra for us kodias why because shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri mahaprabhu shri man mahaprabhu that kind of vipralam bhav what he has shown us that leela he has shown to us that so much it is so much topmost leela very surprising leela maybe that kind of inside the vrindavan also that radha bhavan is actually at staying at that time it's already written our guru bhav has written so much topmost bhav even in braj leela also it is not possible to manifest that kind of bhav mahaprabhu has manifested in front of us and and chaitanya mahaprabhu after that with vipralam bhav he has tasted that there and vipralam is a very far distant thing even gor kishor das baba ji maharaj uh, one person came to him once a hajiya gosai just came and speaking that you just teach me one ragan one uh, you teach me ragan ko bhajan guru gorakshwar ji i don't have time you just came after 
After that, he again came and speaking that you teach me Raganu Bhajan. I don't have time, Mahabaji Mara speaking. And again, he is coming. I don't have time. Then he is just speaking in angry mode. Every time you don't have any time, you are speaking like that. Huh? I am coming here. Now, just by speaking foul words to Baba Nimana, he is going bad. And Baba Nimana started laughing. Huh? Even for a one pesa, one pence loss, he is actually just uh, uh, under the shelter of money, one pesa money. He, they, he will do Raganu Bhajan. Huh? This one kind of joking. Even for one paisa loss, he will be doing Raganuga Bhajan. Not possible. So much cheap Raganuga Bhajan is not like that. Okay, go to the market and take the books there. And then you just uh, uh, teach Raganuga Bhajan like that. Huh? Not possible like that. No, not that cheap. Prabhupada actually with so much strict vichar because these all Sahajya people in order to just give them the understanding is very much difficult. In our Sampradaya it's very much difficult. Even in our Sampradaya also Sahajyas are there. And Gauri Kishordas Babaji always used to speak from the market you can just take the books and you will be just teaching Rugan, Raganuga Bhajan you will be uh, but who will give you realization? Huh? You can just uh, read and just uh, uh, can get money out of that but where you will get realization, buddy? You, where you will get realization? Huh? Where you will get realization? Not at all possible like that. So that's why that is very much typical. Very, so much uh, surprising to see all this. What is going on? All those sahajiyas, they have just uh, fall down the standard of this so much that the person, individual person, if the normal person of this uh, uh, normal person of this samaj, if some person is there of this material world, that who is such such a gentleman and with full etiquette, with humble mood, he is, he'll be thinking the oh so bad it is. Like this already happened. Raja Ram Mohan Roy, he just uh, who actually or oh, his father has just thrown him away from the house. Already left him because you are not my uh, boy. He was not my son. That person, same person, he has uh, just a uh, lot of, uh, lot of uh, brave attitudes he has to, just shown us. And about, he has already shown some interest about Gaudiya Vaishnava literature as well. But don't have any interest, he just want to hear something about them. And what he has done? He said that, he, the, uh, what are the actual instructions of Gorang Mahaprabhu? I just want to understand that. And after that, he just went to a very fraudster, cheater, Shahajiya Baba, whose character is characterless. That already has been happened. That, uh, that what are the actual instructions of Gorang Mahaprabhu? You told me, he said, you sit. And after that, what he told? After that, he just spit on that and just go away from that place. After that, that person, he just left everything. And he don't uh, actually used to hear everything. And then he just died in England, in the foreign country. He, not here also he died. He died in England. Very dangerous situation. So that's why, that the actual uh, place when you will not be going there, then in order to understand that it is very much difficult very very difficult to understand Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur Ji in Ram Jeevanpur that is the actual Bhaktivinoda Thakur himself speaking this one one Ram Jeevanpur one place is there in Medinipur when at the time of speaking Harikatha there and all those Sahajiyas is actually speaking to Bhaktivinoda Thakur they give him a nice stay and and uh, in a nice uh, uh, place he has uh, they have arranged for Bhaktivinoda Thakur and speaking to Thakur that here you can just take Rasa Swadhan here tomorrow morning we will uh, uh, Rasa Swadhan what what does it mean that very separate place they have given to Bhaktivinoda Thakur and one girl they have given oh just by hearing that he just got mad and Bhaktivinoda Thakur immediately just went away from that place oh my god immediately went away from the oh so bad so this is our in the Gaudiya Sampradha this is the present situation 
who will actually take the uh, duty responsibility what what kind of actual situation will be there for them prabhupad ji in the present bangladesh state he just bangladesh country he went and once sahajia came to prabhupad and just putting logical in, arguments with prabhupad and speaking to him he was actually just started argumentative uh, logical argumentation with prabhupad and speaking to prabhupad that that you just tell me about some parikya bhav i don't have any practical experience with that how i can tell you you don't have any practical experience so how you can tell me that parikya we will tell that we know what is parikya <laughs> so this kind of with the from all the actual condition of sampradaya is very bad i just want to spit on that in the whole whole uh, material world just like foolish people all dirty filthy uh, dirtiness is going on everywhere it is impossible that's why bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking shriman mahaprabhu as a, and bhakti vinod thakur also speaking that shriman mahaprabhu this krishna prem that is the actual nitya dharma of all the jivas bhakti vinod thakur speaking that this is the uh, krishna prem is the, the nitya dharma of all the uh, jivas but why in chaitanya chamrit it is written like this it means that inside the heart it is there in the hidden form that krishna prem is the nitya dharma of all the jivas but uh, in order to just get manifested in front of us that kind of uh, premi sadhu it is very much important to get the uh, external uh, association of a sadhu that's why it is told just be careful on this point what i'm speaking that what is the actual uh, thing of uh, janma mool of krishna bhakti bhakti is not at all there in the jivas you mean to say the jivas that they are actually nitya das of krishna they are actually nitya das means that jivas jivas are supposed to serve krishna so this what is on the basis of that the actual connection is there with bhagwan on the basis of this and that will be for infinity period but if we will not be doing seva then what to do that there is one servant of mine that he is just uh, where is servant and where is me i don't know he already gone somewhere and there is one boy his son he has just got uh, separated from his father but and uh, now again he has just uh, no information is there of the boy where he is to the police and all and after that father is actually separated from the son completely and he hasn't uh, got any information about his son it doesn't mean that the father and son their relationship is just get over it's not like that the relationship of father and son is completely over that he is my son and he is my father this kind of relationship is still there in fine form it is there all the time that's why bhagwan shri krishna with them the kind of relationship jeevas are having it's already told jeeve swarup hai krishna nitya bhakto this is not actually not spoken the seva if actually it started then only bhakti will get started that you are my servant that if will someone will be buying like that in the previous years someone wants to just uh, uh, buy someone that you are my servant but now actually everything is changed just by doing seva only that you can speak that i am your servant but this is your actual uh, relationship your actual title is this that i am nitya das of krishna that's why jibes swarup hai krishna nitya da ye to pakka baat this is a topmost fixed point already and this is also a, a topmost point what i am speaking 
कृष्ण भक्ति जन्म बोल है साधु अरे कृष्ण भक्ति अरे कृष्ण भक्ति कृष्ण भक्ति द एक्चुअल जन्म बोल द एक्चुअल थिंग ऑफ आवर बर्थ इज कृष्ण भक्ति ओनली एंड इन बाय साधु संग ओनली इट इज पॉसिबल टू गेट प्रेमा बट भक्ति में ठाकुर स्पीकिंग That Krishna Prem is the actual nitya dharma of all the jivas. But in order to manifest that, that one sadhu, that kind of one premi sadhu, it's very much important to get his association. That's my Mahaprabhu speaking. Krishna bhakti raso bhavita mati, bhavita mati. Krishna bhakti raso bhavita mati, kriya tam jyoti kuto pila pati. Khari ko. Just buy it. That Krishna Prem, if you are just getting into that, drown, drowning in that, that kind of Prem, you just need to uh, buy that. If some we can see that in some devotee, then you just need to buy that devotee. That's it. And what you will get the actual cost and value in that. You, what is the actual value of that? Bhakti Vinod Thakur actually speaking that Krishna Prem is Jiva's dharma, and that. That by this dharm, treasure of dharm, that it is not at all possible to get uh, fully detached from this nitya dharm. But he has infinity from infinity period. He has a relationship with Krishna, and with the, when he will be getting out of Maya, that kind of anurag towards Krishna, he will feel attraction towards him, and he will be feeling detachment towards the Maya. That I am Krishna nitya das. This kind of thinking when it is coming. This is by by full. Uh, if the jeev is actually experiencing it, that I am Krishna Nitya Das, this actually is getting into his heart. Then actually everything is solved for for his that actual purpose of his life. The jeevas will get their actual object of their life. It means their health. The actual health of the jeevas means not the external body, but actual inside the atma. The jeev is uh, will be feeling very healthy. By this uh, having faith in this uh, actual satya, that is the actual uh, mool of all the satya. Actually, it is out of two opinions are coming out of this. One is sansar shayan mukh, that sansar is already getting destroyed, is in the making of destruction, and when your material bondage is destroyed, and then you are getting sukriti, then you are getting, and when sukriti is getting accumulated, that swarap swas. स्वभाव सिद्ध स्वरूप इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग डेवलप्ड इन योर हार्ट द अदर नेम ऑफ श्रद्धा इज दैट टू हैव भक्ति इन कृष्ण दैट ऑल द काइंड ऑफ कर्म फॉर द जीवाज आर गेटिंग डिस्ट्रॉयड ऑटोमेटिकली दैट kind of uh, topmost confidence in that is called shraddha that when that kind of shraddha is getting uh, where those who are getting shraddha is getting inside their heart it is getting sprouted inside the heart of one jiva who is getting that tremendous confidence on supreme lord that shraddha is there that so much tremendous shraddha he has that topmost confidence he has on supreme lord if there is no if he is doing some matching uh, uh, sadhu sang and with that bhajan pranali he is following that uh, uh, sadhu pranali gradually he is actually going towards uh, nishtha ruchi bhav bhakti and then prem bhakti he is gradually moving towards that and automatically it will be like that shraddha will just uh, get sprouted inside the heart automatically and after that he will be just getting inside the pathway of rag mark automatically automatically he will be he, there is no pressure at all that shat shat shraddha in topmost uh, phase it will just uh, become jeevatma will become the bahir jeev he will be coming karna shuru kar deta hai usi samay That's why shastra yukti or the restriction of the shastra and rules and regulations of the shastra, there is actually no kind of uh, uh, prabhav on that. That's why. That's why 
according to the shastra vidhi that without any doing uh, shastra upeksha that with the nirbhik roop bhakti vinod thakur ji has told this point but when the udit shraddha is in coma state then that in front of the sadguru in front of sadguru this kind of vichar and when you are getting uh, slowly steadily you are getting uh, in bhajan then you are getting fixed in bhajan according to that after that he is getting fixed and shastra and uh, guru vakya maybe guru in shastra and guru vakya in just to have confidence in that that is the actual introduction of shraddha mahaprabhu ji also when he went to varanasi at varanasi also when prakashanand when prakashanand saraswati pad he just uh, inter, uh, uh, he actually met with uh, prakashanand saraswati at that time mahaprabhu told this thing only prakashanand he was asking that why you are actually why you are not at all uh, uh, meeting with the sampradayik sanyasi and what is the actual reason behind that why you are actually not listening to vedanta at that time shriman mahaprabhu ji has given one answer that we just need to have to remember that all the time prabhu ko hai suno sipat yaar ka aap vedant that why you are actually not listening to vedant that you are actually taking the wish of sampradayik sanyasi and why you are actually not listening to vedant you are doing all the time nitya kirtan what is the reason behind it prabhu actually speaking that shripad prabhu ka suno he is speaking that you see shripad prabhu asking that you see shripad the actual reason behind is you just understand what is the reason behind it that i am not uh, reading shastra prabhu speaking suno shripad yaar karo guru mare murkh dekhi korilo sasho murkh tumi tomar nahi vedant vedant adhikar लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण so this thing actually gurudev has told me that by just getting this permission from gurudev that this kind of permission uh, i've got from gurudev that i am all the time doing this hari naam it means that by just by doing doing this naam uh, all the time my heart actually what is happening i don't know that all the time that my patience is actually going away i am just becoming mad by doing this hari naam my patience means that patience that i it is very much possible impossible to get patience na harina mein so much effect that i'm losing my patience that's why it's speaking it's spoken that my heart what is happening in my heart that i am i want to get patience but i can't get patience at all and it is just getting more and more excited transcendental excitement is going in and just by laughing and just by uh, when i am just getting down and just getting up what is my condition i can't understand krishna nami krishna gan krishna nami gana channa hoilo amar iska bho gana this is actually very in depth meaning is there what uh, who can do rupan of bhajan that with full vichar they just need to understand this point why mahaprabhu has spoken this like and what is the actual uh, in depth uh, rahasya secret about this 
that to have get patience that is impossible for me to get at that time i may be in the forward i just make some patience and i have just made lot of vichar inside my heart and then that they by this krishna naam that how how my this uh, knowledge from topmost knowledge it doesn't mean here that by krishna naam that i am actually becoming uh, a gyani that without any knowledge it's like gyan achan means that like i am by pranam mantra of gurudev gyananjana salakya chakshurunitam tasme se gurave here actually if i will be just meaning like that then it's okay gyan achan means that prakashanand he is actually just asking prakashanand that my heart he is actually just getting becoming rasamay getting deep into rasa and uh, outside what is there or not i can't understand that like sanatan goswami pad actually has told krishna bhakti sudha pana deho dahi ko bisit e yo krishna this krishna bhakti sudha pana is there that kind of thing is that actually thing. that we we actually i also am actually getting my uh, personality i am just uh, not remembering that completely that this body and related to this body whatever things are there actually i am all all actually i am forgetting that all actually i am forgetting i can't remember anything so that is called gyanachan gyanachan means it's not that that whole knowledge is gone that mahaprabhu actually used to speak here that my heart is becoming so rasmay full of ras my heart becomes that that automatically just one person is doing uh, some kind of uh, uh, drinking or nasha is doing he sanatan go swami pas speaking deho dohi ko bisute tesa pancho hoti guru cha pancho hoti dehe dehe opi sachidan narupa pancho hoti by having this body made of five elements still inside that a prakrit body can just transcendental body can get manifested externally you can find it's just made of five elements that's why mahaprabhu speaking that my patience i am losing that completely and uh, and my body is becoming rasamay it means that sometimes i am uh, laughing sometimes i am crying sometimes i am falling down this is my condition so sometimes this condition comes to me and i just lost all my consciousness by that after that i actually want to just get my consciousness back my patience i want to take it back but still i couldn't do that that is krishna naam only that is the only krishna naam it inside it each and everything is like that that my dhyan is getting achan in this that i am just uh, uh, having this conception removed from my mind that what is my body and what is my uh, atma so i am just getting drowned in krishna prem so much that i know krishna only apart and nothing else tobe dhoyjo dhori mane korilo vichar krishna name gana chhat hoilo amar pagal hoila ami dhoyjo nahi mane hum pagal mane i just become mad I this kind of madness. This is not the kind of material madness I am speaking about. This madness, I am actually every one should become mad like that. This kind of transcendental madness that Brahma and Shankar are becoming just uh, getting uh, uh, getting onto lotus feet of Bhagwan. They want to get madness like that only. That transcendental madness we need. that i have become mad and my patience is just uh, i'm losing that all the time iske baad after that prabodhan prabodhan prakashan saraswati prakashan saraswati mahaprabhu speaking that uh, you are just remembering so much and i am just doing dandavat uh, onto lotus feet of gurudev what kind of pray prayer i am doing what kind of mantra gurudev has given me this by just doing this mantra jap i am just becoming mad yehi to hona 
that is actually will happen that is called raganuga bhakti you want, want you haven't understand that is called actual raganuga bhakti it shows what doing drama that is not at all raganuga bhakti at all that is all characterless characterlessness it is prabhupa speaking this you are actually don't go there at that side of the river they are all characterlessness people full of characterless people they are are at that side of the river don't go there at all prabhupa speaking that is called actual raganuga bhakti Prakashanan Saraswati Pad actually is giving this kind of thinking that I have just done a prayer onto lotus feet of Gurudev and what kind of question you have given me I am why I am actually crying and doing this there that is the actual reason behind it by just doing this mantra I am just becoming mad By the effect of this mantra only what Guru Dev given me, I am just crying and sometimes I am laughing and sometimes I am just rolling down on the ground and after hearing this from my Guru Dev, Guru Dev has just given me the answer. What he has given? Guru Dev given me the answer. Atosuni Guru Mure Bolila Vacha Krishna Nam Mahamante Eitu Sava. Sri Krishna Nam Mahamantra. The Krishna the Krishna Mahamantra that is the actual nature of that uh, Harinam. That is the actual uh, Swabhava of Harinam. That we need only. The actual Prabhav, the Swabhava of Harinam. It's like that only. We need that only. Guru Dev speaking. It means that in the way of Raganuga mark, that that is the actual pathway to just get pravished in that mark. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has just told in Jatanya Jiritamrit this point already. Guru Dev also speaking. That is the actual effect of actual natural effect of Krishna is this only that those who are doing all the time that Krishna some bhav some kind of bhav is getting uh, towards Krishna is just getting manifested in our heart here. There, one Mahaprabhu is just giving one kind of act, but actual thing is that Mahaprabhu ji is just he is actually questioning to Guru Dev like this. But here it is no fault in this. Mahaprabhu ji has just in order to understand, uh, in, in just to give understanding to uh, that uh, Mayavadi Sanyasi, he has given this kind of understanding to us so that in order to break his false ego, Mahaprabhu has just uh, done this. Like Naraji Maharaj has just shown us one story, told us one story. Maharaji Maharaj has told us one Vishwana Chakravarti. This is our, uh, what you say, uh, in Bhagavad Ji Mahapurana also it is there. Uh, there, act that to that king. What's his name? I just forgot. He actually speaking to this uh, that king, and the king actually just heard all the story, and after just hearing the incident, and he just now I can understand. Puranjan, Puranjan king is there. One story is there. Uh, he just uh, told to one king the story of Puranjan, and this story of Puranjan. He actually, he has given the instructions of all the Tattva Gyan, Tattva Udesh. It's already written in the Shastra about this. It doesn't mean that the story of Puranjan is all foolish and rubbish. We just need to throw that. Are, it is actually the vichar of Shastra. You, in order to just get the understanding of the Shastra, we are getting that. So, okay, Mahaprabhu has just shown this to us. But in actual Swarup, if 
we we will be doing at the actual vichar of the shastra in toto then also prakashan and saraswati is not able to take that that's why in order to just uh, make sure that he can understand the shastra in right way so when mahaprabhu just uh, went to udupi there actually lot of tattvadis were there and we are there also mahaprabhu actually speaking in this manner to them that's so very nice nice kind of uh, uh, twisting he has done to them that is the actual vichar of mahaprabhu when when that the antarang vishay of bhakti that i it is not at all there when mahaprabhu has just shown the leela and that you after i have just came to just take tatva gyan from you but you are actually just uh, thinking that i am mayavadi sanyasi that you are not at all speaking me the actual absolute truth about in uh, in front of me mahaprabhu has not shown them disrespect that you don't know actually tatva gyan ha like not like this mahaprabhu speaking to them you actually just by seeing me externally mayavadi you are actually just want to make me foolish but you are not at all speaking me the actual thing you are speaking about karma and all everything but you are not speaking about the actual tatva gyan what you have just by seeing me as mayavadi and after that mahaprabhu slowly steadily they he given him one kind of uh, recognition and rectification that is the actual way of preaching this is the actual pre- way of preaching that uh, in the puranjan story also upakhyan that shankar bhagwan and prachetagan he they are just told, telling him them one story in the fifth canto also it is there in bhavatobi there is one kind of story is there so all these incidents and stories this you can understand that why actually he is uh, it is actually important if it is not at all there that the actual in depth vichar of shastra then it will not at all stay in answer all because lot of shastra vichar are there it will not at all stay inside the heart of everyone but when i wish to telling one story by the medium of that story then he can understand that if you are just telling them we are a story that a kind of memory is there it by this memory there is one connection with one sin with one scenario or scene or incident which we see lot of lot of katha i have told you already and in this one picture i have shown you in that picture Uh, to just remember that it is very easy to remember that picture tatva sadan to remember that it is very much difficult but that picture if you want to remember that it is very much easy by by the medium of that picture that all kind of tatva sadan can just get um, uh, introduced in front of you so that's why the story of puranjan and after that the in front of prachetas the actual story of shankar bhagwan so everything is there narad ji the what narad ji has told lot of things are there to mahaprabhu ji ne to mahaprabhu actually just telling this point that because prakashanand prakashanand saraswati is the there and he is not at all ready to hear anything that's why guru ji our guru var also has just told this kind of siddhant which are in front of us prabhupad always used to speak like that that one kind of story uh, i'll be just telling you and he used to tell us in a form of story one point but there but there you will get one kind of extra effect prabhupad speaking that today my guru varg today my guru varg what kind of uh, happiness they are giving to me i am not at all like that up to that standard they are praising me all my guru varg that they are actually want to protect me from my fallen condition are what is the thing is this is is this a correct point this is just a style by this if we will be speaking that the effect will be more to, towards other that's why mahaprabhu actually just very nice beautifully has represented the whole scenario in front of prakashanan so that all the things can get in one uh, connection and everything are just uh, uh, just uh, put in a very beautiful condition in front of someone that's why when prakashan is saraswati pad why actually he you are not at all hearing vedant to mahaprabhu is speaking why you are not at all hearing vedant yeah why you are doing that the kirtan every that mahaprabhu given him answer first thing that in order to give such a answer so that the false ego inside the heart of him it should just get crushed off and after that 
he just need to just uh, rectify him and he just need to save him from the bondage so if the prakashanand will become uh, free from bondage then whatever thousands of disciples are there he will they will also get uh, 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 away from the bonded condition that's why he, he Ma, mahaprabhu has just shown us that they, he has just given one question in front of guru dev one very nice story mahaprabhu has told to him prakashanand guru dev This is the actual uh, swabhav, actual effect of Mahamantra. This in just Gurudev by baking in front of Gurudev that Krishna Vishya Prema that is the Param Purusharth. Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking that this Prabhu Vakya this Prabhu by this Prabhu Vakya there is one very special point we can think all the time means that Mahaprabhuji Mahaprabhuji the actual points of Mahaprabhu there is one very important point that important point there it means that that by this Upadesh it, you can prove this like that that by this Shastra Vichar that Shraddha will get more nurtured and he will get more Shraddha out of that in the more matured state because by the actual Vichar of Prabhu it is actually just proved by the Shastra Vichar by from the Shatha Praman Vedas that is a topmost uh, proof that Praman Shiromani, it's already written in Sanatan Siksha. This the actual Vakya of Prabhupada, of Prabhu, it's uh, actually proved. So, this shlok you just need to remember all the time. Those Mayamukta Jivas, Jiver Kipai, Kishno Koilo, Bedpura. So this, by this kind of vichar, we can just understand that Shraddha is of two types. One is Komal Shraddha and one is Dhrid Shraddha. Dhrid Shraddha by that, that Bhakti actually is becoming spontaneous. That is very tremendous and powerful, full of power. And it is actually just uh, before Bhag Bhakti. This is actually Bhav Rupa. And Komal Shraddha, that person, he can just fall down anytime. Komal Shraddha person can fall down anytime. That for a Komal Shraddha person, if you will be just uh, doing Raganuga Bhajan, you will be just speaking him uh, forcefully, then opposite will happen. That whatever Anukul Pratikul for us, this kind of vichar, it automatically, Vishnu Chakravarti Pad in this book Raghavar Machandrika, this Nam Sankirtan is the topmost of all. By this, Sadhya Sadhan Tattva, both you can get. That is Sadhya, that definitely will get. And that is Sadhan, that is Sadhan. And Sadhya also it is. So that's why it is told here. By, by doing Sadhan Bhakti, all kind of anarts are getting destroyed. When you are becoming anarth in breath, that you are getting distant Bhakti and automatically that by by Katha Kirtan of Bhagavan you are getting Ruchi in that automatically and and after Ruchi when you are getting Ruchi automatically Asakti is also getting inside your heart 
গাঢ় হইবে ধরে প্রেম নাম সেই প্রেমা প্রয়োজন প্রয়োজন সর্বানন্দ ধাম श्रद्धा then there is no question of any shastri yukti when in dridh shraddha that is shastri yukti there is no question of shastri yukti at all why because inside that there is some kind of logical instruments and argument cannot get and confusion cannot get inside his heart inside his heart he can understand in dridh shraddha there is no uh, usage of shastri yukti in komal shraddha those who have komal shraddha those who don't have shastri yukti they can just uh, leave that pathway for a bit of time and they can just go towards the destruction for komal shraddha person and this kind of topmost shraddha one vyakti this diksha procedure is applicable and is very much important for them those who want to that krishna bhagwan already told lot of things are there by satsang everything can be done you can get in by satsang only association of sadhu you can get everything in your life that komal the komal uh, shraddha people that apart from uh, sadhu sang there is no pathway open for them at all by that this kind of shraddha one people diksha apart from that there is no other pathway for them that sadguru in front of sadguru that shastra vichar that mantra grahan that uh, just by the actual pravisht what kind of vichar gurudev has pravisht manifested that just need to follow that sadhan kriya what gurudev has told he just need to hear the mantra from gurudev and he need to understand the actual upadesh and instructions given by gurudev that archan seva he just need to do and just by doing sadhan slowly steadily all the time he just need to do hari naam with that as well and with that seva he just need to do seva naam as well and by doing sadhan as well there will be some gra- gra- gradual promotional pro- procedure of bhakti will come that kram mukti will come and for them 10 mo- 10 kinds of shiksha 10 mul shiksha the instructions are very much uh, important that is uh, praman and a pr- pr- prameo and there is one mul vishay and others are their wish that to just to praman to just uh, uh, prove that in the heart of that topmost trid trid shrad devotees that kind of shat siddh the confidence towards hari naam and naam sankirtan that is the topmost sadhan for them that is a vishesh siddhan told by bhakti vinod thakur bhakti vinod thakur here actually told a very nice siddhant in front of us that in chaitanya charitamrit it is written there that if for doing some uh, diksha or upurusharan that this kind of thing here actually it is bhakti uh, thakur has just uh, introduced that 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 in its, inside the heart of a devotee in naturally that kind of dred shraddha confidence towards the pure guru vaishnav that in hari naam sadhan everything is done in that 100% in hari naam sadhan everything is done in that that's why those people that by hari naam by everything by hari naam they are doing everything and they don't need diksha at all diksha is really important if without diksha they will get destroyed completely ragunath das goswami has told this point this kind of uh, uh, description given here that each and every person diksha is very important but bhakti vinod thakur speaking that this by mahamantra he can just came into raganuga bhajan by this mahamantra if he has this kind of confidence in him that for dred shraddha bhakt that kind of shat siddh confidence for hari naam that hari na by hari naam everything can be done automatically everything will get automatically manifest inside her just by understanding this 
it is not at all that much important for, to under, to give explanation of harinam in front of that dhrishta the person that's mahaprabhu actually discussing in front of us so so here the siddhant here is actually that komal shraddha persons give us that those who are having kamal shraddha those who have that that uh, apart from pra- if they are going on the other pathway then definitely they will be getting asatsang association will be bad and they will just be destroyed and just uh, get uh, away from the actual path of bhakti praman just by leaving the praman of the shastras if other kind of uh, association they will be doing then they will just get destroyed they will just get into fall and fall down condition they will their fall, consciousness will fall down they will be thinking opposite so that's the thinking that's why that sambandh with sambandh tatv vichar that with vishesh vichar that in pramay swarup what is you are actually just panic uh, manifesting the krishna bhakti vichar and krishna krishna vichar and prashna vichar jeev tatv vichar atma tatv vichar that what is the actual sansar vichar of jeevas and what is the nistar vichar of jeevas everything is there how we can just uh, uh, get the jeevas out of the bondage from the maya and achintya bheda ved vichar as well so this seven kind of vichar in that those who are not at all having that kind of eligibility who don't have realization for that then what he will do that's why bhakti vinod thakur he is actually just uh, giving the actual uh, conclusion of all the instructions of bhakti uh, mahaprabhu Sh- krishna shakti vichar krishna shakti tatva krishna rasa tatva vichar jeev tatva vichar atma tatva vichar the how actually jeevas are getting this getting into sansar how and how jeevas can just uh, uh, get out of this bondage and can get be protected this is just by done by achintya veda ved tatva so by this i have already told you previously this point as well on this point bahut lot of very in depth vishay it is we to understand and now that ragatmika in ragatmika bhakti in before going into that bhakti vinod thakur speaking that uh, that kama yoga sambandh is automatically here here for that person in shrimad bhagavatam in the 7th canto it is written there kama deshad bhayat snehad yatha bhakti swari manah avishyo tat agam hitva bahavas tat gatim gata kya gata hai what actually it's written written there deshad bhayat snehad yatha bhakti swari manah avishyo tat agam hitva विचार the actual thing is that kaam, that kaam bhai, that country sneha is that whatever kind of uh, you are getting abhinivist your mind and heart in uh, bhagwan when you are just becoming bhaktavist in the heart and mind of bhagwan all the time your mind at heart intelligence everything is there inside bhagwan then with that you can get that bhagwat buddhi automatically that by kaam that kamat by kam lust you can get the gopikas are getting bhagwan and by fear that kans is getting bhagwan by kama gopis are getting bhagwan and by fear you kans is getting bhagwan and by avesh shishupal etc and by sambandh that vrishivanshi mahatma munis and by sne that you are pandavas and we are rishis and narad ji speaking this that to rishis nishis are all by bhakti they have just got bhakti kaam ke dara by lakam gopika sir kamanu ka bhakti that is the top most that is the top most of all and other people you will be talking i have already told you about that that if they are actually going against you about about krishna someone is going against krishna 
there is sign of against against krishna if at that time we just need to understand that we are actually bhagwan is there inside our heart or not all the time that is the big point at the time of doing uh, going against krishna whether you are actually remembering krishna or not that's why kans etc are getting this kind of reward uh, otherwise other can't get any kind of uh, 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 getting uh, out of bondage so that's why it is written that kopa kama that solitude uh, before it is told the goblok by kama they are act that is called pavitra kam that is kamanuga that kam rupa bhakti so to kopikas by kam they he got krishna kans by vidvesh and by samband rishi munis and by all this relationship with bhagwan by sne and we are actually all rishi munis we are by that bhakti upayan that by bhakti only we are getting krishna so this actually this kaam bhay fear aavesh sneha bhakti these six kinds of vishay is there that kaam bhay dvesh sneha this kind of six kind of vishay that with anukul bhav they are actually against that anukul bhav if will be doing the vichar against anukul bhav then that what will happen in that that by the six kinds of anukul bhav if you are going against that that by if it is going against all these six kind of bhavas that that anukaran of that particular object will not be possible at all that kaam bhay desh sneha and bhakti the six kinds of anukul bhav that if you are going against that anukul bhav that that it is not at all uh, uh, good for doing anukaran of all these uh, things in uh, in our bhakti line so that by having the sakya bhav yukta that vedi bhakti will get uh, established in that and by by and in the sadhan parv lot of vichar is there you can't understand it and and all lot of people that they have got uh, that uh, topmost condition in their life by these all talkings they are just going on to the opposite pathway they actually want to speak here that it is already told by bhakti no thakur that just like a rays of sun and uh, like like the sun of uh, rays of sun and the sun itself it's like same like the brahma jyoti and krishna is actually all the same it is not at all non different they are non different from each other krishna and krishna's brahma jyoti is all the same but the only difference is that that it is coming from krishna this is just a jyoti of bhagwan and where it is come for coming from it is coming from bhagwan so that rays and the sun itself is all the same so all those gyani devotees they are getting uh, uh, impersonal brahm and those who are enemies of krishna those who are gyani gans they are getting impersonal brahm and uh, krishna gyani gans brahm mein loy prapt hota hai gyani gans are getting into impersonal brahm and those who are enemies enemies of krishna also they are also getting into impersonal brahm feature of krishna gyani gans those all gyani knowledgeable persons they actually by their own will they want to get into that impersonal brahm by their will and those who are enemies of krishna they are just want to go against krishna and they definitely will go into brahm only they also will be going into brahm but there is actually some kind of difference between that there is actually some difference that all those enemies of krishna they are also going to brahm here that the kind of swarup abhas bhakti and can is also done in the brahmand puran that kind of vichar it is written all these mayavadis and siddh 
Siddhas, Siddhas are also of two people, two kinds. One is Brahma Sukhya Nimagna. The Siddha people are of two types. One is Jnana Siddha. Jnana Siddha are one. And Brahma Sukhya Nimagna. And second is Aikantik. That which is already all Asuras. That they are getting into the Siddha condition. They in the Siddha condition are getting uh, their Swaroop. That by Brahman Purana I have told you. That they are getting out of Maya. And they are actually uh, staying in that Siddha Swaroop. That is called Swaroop Abhas. That they are all the enemies of Krishna. Their Brahm is actually... They, all the enemies of Krishna, they are also getting impersonal Brahm feature of Krishna. But there is one point here. You can see that there is Swaroop Abhas they are getting. And they are getting into that impersonal Brahm feature. The, from Brahman to Puran Vichar, I am just telling you. They are Mayavadis and all. They actually stay in Siddha Lok. Siddha is also two types. Gyan Siddha Lok and, and uh, Harikatik that who has already destroyed Asur people by Krishna. They can they are staying in Siddha Lok. Here one uh, Siddha, there is one kind of uh, Rag Varmukande that uh, just by doing uh, Krishna Pad Padma Bhajan, slowly steadily they are getting that prem towards Krishna. That those who are Gyan Siddha, that uh, by the Kripa of Sadhu they are getting. So whatever be the case, so lot of uh, things are there, very in-depth which are you can't understand. By Kama, that Sambhog Krishna, attraction of Kama, uh, attraction towards Krishna, that by Kama we can understand, that Sambhog Krishna we can understand, to associate with Krishna. Kam Ruka uh, Ragatmya Bhakti in that Swaroop, that Sambhog Krishna in that Swaroop, just in order to get into this fully, with full Ahaitu Kipriti, he can get onto that platform. By Kam Rupa, that Sambhog Krishna, we have to understand that. In general, we can speak. It is a general term, that is an actual natural term, that in Kam word, that is, we can understand that Sambhog Krishna is called uh, uh, Kama Rupa. But the Kam Rupa Ragatmika Bhakti, the, in that Swaroop, that Sambhog Krishna, there is Sambhog Krishna in that Swaroop, just getting established then, that Ahaituki Bhakti, he can just get to that platform. It means that at, it is, that is actually established by Krishna and just for the satisfaction of Krishna only, all kinds of efforts are made. For their own personal effort, nothing is made at all. After that, if a bit of uh, his own uh, enjoyment he is feeling, he she is feeling, then that is also only for the uh, satisfaction of Krishna only. That's why this kind of Arupa frame of Brajvasis, it is the topmostly, uh, it is a topmost apart from Braj Gopikas, it is not at all anywhere you can find in all the Brajvasis. And this kind of Prem of Brajavasis, especially of Gopikas, that is uh, very much surprising and amazing uh, Madhurja you can see. And that is the topmost tastefulness, that is the topmost excellent uh, Madhurja you can find in Gopikas and Brajavasis. That Sambandarupa I have already told you, that mother, father, wife, children, whosoever are there, they are Sambandarupa. Up till this point, I have told. Up till this point, I'll be just giving rest up till this point. Sham Iggaho Sesam Hetuhu Pantha Santa Pabarijita Anabhapta Samam Purvi Jeno Santoho Pratastiri Shuti Siti Puran Adi Pancharatro Vidhingvina Vaikanti Gaharir Bhakti Rutpato Ivo Kalpati Vancha Kalpaturu Shikipasindhu Patitanan Pavan and Bhavishna Pyonamo.